How's it going everyone? Boyer from BZF. Yeah, we're playing Way of the Hunter today. I know a lot of people are very excited about this game and I thought it might be fun to go ahead and do one of these uh, beginning missions. I'm not sure how many people have been uh, working their way through the missions, but evidently the, uh, the deer that is in the hunting lodge uh, it's called Hollywood's Father, and it has an abnormal uh, rack on one side, I suppose. And uh, and evidently, we are now going after Hollywood, which is the other deer. And it evidently has an abnormal uh, rack as well. So, figured we might as well film this a little bit here. I know we haven't done any uh, Way of the Hunter uh, videos yet. So I thought, uh, you know what? Might as well give it a shot. So, pack all your hunting gear together, hit that like button, and let's get into it, everyone. I'm very confused on the whole walking thing. You can hit control, and that seems to make you go faster versus like sneaking. Then there's also crouching and standing up, and then there's sprinting as well. There's like so many, there's just weird options when it comes to walking around, and they don't give you any like, uh, I guess, visual cues of what you're doing, sneaking or like. I don't even know, like, uh, sprinting or walking, like, I feel like I need some sort of visual cue of what, uh, speed I'm going and, and how that's gonna disturb the animals. Here is a mule deer trail right there. We did have a, uh, view of them from back on that other hill. Looked like they were down in this ravine over here, this little valley. Hoping to be able to get a look at them. Maybe I'll just have to continue going up the hill here. Ooh, ooh. I actually see them. Okay. Well, at least we know where they are now. They're over here. I'm assuming maybe this is Hollywood right here laying on the ground. There's really not any other buck that I see at the moment anyway. He's in a pretty good position to kind of move up on this hill over here. So I think that's what we're going to work our way towards. Maybe get into these trees to be a little bit harder to see. And then we'll uh, take a crack at old uh, Hollywood. You know, I, I thought when I saw the initial, like, uh, video of, uh, walking and stuff like that and the camera movement, every single step and that sort of thing, I thought I would really hate it, um, and be looking for a setting to turn it off or something like that, but actually, now that I'm here in the moment, kind of, like, sneaking forward, it does kind of bring me in, you know, when you're sneaking up on a turkey or something like that and you're being real quiet, but every single step, you know, you feel every step kind of brings you into the action. I kind of like this kind of movement. Now, here is something I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of, but evidently, you can just move the camera around and just, uh, and just do it. Oh, you, okay, so there is a certain range that you uh, can only do it at. Okay, well, that's good to know. I was curious if it would just like let us zoom around the entire reserve. I thought that would be a rather cheat. But there he is. There's old Hollywood. We are within 90 meters right now. And I am thinking probably going to be a great opportunity to bring him down. But of course, me being a content creator, I've got to do something crazy. This is so interesting. I can literally go in here and bring up the camera and take photos of him. And what's even crazier is that I can I can go all the way around, I can take photos, and then I can bring up the, the uh, settings here. We can actually change the time of day to give me a good photo. Just so interesting. And then, on top of that, you can actually increase the blur. I can, I can, I can kind of zoom in, but then I can increase that so that it really just the focal length Get some real nice blur behind him. That is so crazy. Uh, I tell you what, that is a crazy detail in this game. <laughs> that, unless you're a content creator, I'm not sure if you'd really take full advantage of. Bring out the old rifle here, get a shot on him. He's quartered off on us right now. Let's see if he uh, turns broadside here in a bit. It almost seems like he thinks something's up, but that, that doe just bedded down, so you wouldn't think that he'd be too bothered. I like the animation of the deer. They don't just like stand there waiting for us to get them or something like that. You know, the deer do funny things. They chase each other. They, you know, they move to a different area and eat. It 
just do strange things sometimes. They don't just stay in one need zone consistently and just stand there until it's time to go. Um, and I like seeing that different animations for playing around and that doe ran off into the trees and then ran back. You know, it's just, it's random, but I mean, that's kind of how deer are sometimes. They're not robots. They do random things. But speaking of robots that aren't changing their ways, this guy still hasn't, uh, moved. So I'm trying to move a little bit down this way to be able to hit him on this side here. Make sure we're zeroed in properly. Get the old binoculars out. See what the range is on this guy, because I think we are rather close. We're at 52, so I could literally take my rifle and uh, sight it in at 50. And we should be right on the money. Hopefully it doesn't stop right behind that rock. Come on, man. All right, good deal. Looking good here. Just kind of need him to stop. A little bit hairy there, but I think we got him. That red popping up wasn't the most realistic thing I've ever seen, but I think should have a good hit on him. Moseying into the trees. So that's going to help us at least get a, a head start on the blood trail. Well, looks like we did the deed, everybody. There he is, old Hollywood. We can actually uh, get a little trophy uh, photo too. Turn the camera around this time, and yeah. <laughs> I think we'll have to uh, position our character a little bit better. Yeah, I don't know why this turned into a tutorial of taking photos of your hunter. Nice little, nice little photo with the deer there, old Hollywood. This is kind of the camera stuff I, I always wished uh, the hunter uh, Call of the Wild would put in somehow. Uh, I know it's not really a thing that a lot of people uh, use, but if you're a content creator, like this gives you a lot of flexibility with what you can do in your thumbnails and stuff like that, and I find that really interesting, so. Let's claim him. Top notch, let's see what we did here. We hit the lung. I love this view, it, it reminds me of, uh, oh no, we hit the intestines too. Well, that's just, that's just painful. But at least we did a lot of damage to the lungs, which is great. Um, I should remember to aim a little bit further up here. I'm always worried of hitting this shoulder blade, but uh, it worked out for us. We hit F for taxidermy. I'm not really sure. I guess it returned back to the lodge. Okay. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that means. We'll just have to uh, return back to the lodge and figure out what that means. Alrighty, back at the lodge now. Let's figure this out. Edit taxidermy stand, okay. Oh yeah, look at this. So we have Hollywood. Oh, I did the arrow keys. There we go. Taxidermy trophy. Don't even have to pay for this one. Woo! Well, right on. And, uh, so that, there we go. We got Hollywood and Hollywood's father there. Fairly, uh, identical, really. But it looks like we can actually change the diorama. Oh, okay, so this is just strictly Hollywood and his father. Well, neat! That's pretty awesome, everyone. I'm eager to hear if you hunted down Hollywood in your game. Make sure you comment it down below. And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any way, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, more outdoor game videos in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to watch us live every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, make sure you do so. So much fun seeing everyone and being able to chat live. It's just a great time, everyone. But anyway, take care. We'll see you in the next episode. And as always, Remember everyone, we're one planet, one family, game on.